Hello friends, today we are going to learn a program to find one's complement of numbers stored at memory location 4400 H and we will store the complemented number at memory location 4300 H. So before execution, let's say on 4400 H, random value 0 F H is there and we want its once complemented value to be get stored at 4300H. So let's write our program. We will write our program from address 7000H. Therefore, 7000H is our starting address of our program. Then on 7000H, we will write instruction LDA 4400H. LDA stands for load accumulator. So this instruction will load the accumulator from memory address 4400H. So whichever value is there on 4400H that will get loaded inside the accumulator. Now before execution 4400H was carrying 0FH. Therefore because of this instruction our accumulator will become 0FH. Now this 0 can be written as 0000 of binary and F of hexadecimal can be written as 1111 of binary. Now LDA 4400H is 3 byte instruction that's why it will take 3 memory locations of our program where LDA is first byte so its opcode we will write at 7000H and 4400 we will write in this way first we will write 00 after that we will write 44 then on 7003H, we will write instruction CMA. CMA stands for complement accumulator. It will take the complement of content of accumulator. So, complement means every one will get replaced by 0 and every 0 will get replaced by 1. Now, before execution of this instruction, accumulator was 0FH. So, after taking complement of 0FH, we will get accumulator is equal to F0H. Every 0 four zeros were there so those four zeros got complemented and became four one and four ones got complemented and became four zeros and four ones of binary is equivalent to f of hexadecimal and four zeros of binary is equivalent to one zero of hexadecimal that's why after cma instruction accumulator has become f0h cma stand for complement accumulator and CMA is one byte instruction that's why it will take only one memory location of our program. Then we got complemented value inside the accumulator. Now we want to store at 4300H that's why we have written instruction STA 4300H. Because of this instruction accumulator value which was F0H will get stored at 4300H and on 4300H we will get F0H. Again STA4300 is 3 byte instruction so it will take 3 memory locations of our program. Opcode of STA we will write on 7004 and 4300 we will write in reverse order. First we will write 00 after that we will write 43. And finally, on 7007, we will terminate our program by writing instruction HLT or RST1. This instruction is used for stopping execution of program. So we have successfully found out the complemented value of 4400H and we store that complemented value on 4300H. So before execution, 4400 was 0FH. And after execution, we have taken complemented value of that and we store that on 4300H. And 4300H has become F0H. Thank you.